Hello. Last night I had a dream that one day this nation would rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. Wait, no. That wasn't my dream. But that's always the dream I want to have because that is a good dream. And I was not so noble in my dream last night. I want to talk to you about the dream I actually had last night, though. It was a realistic dream. It wasn't like a dream about giant bugs falling in love with girls. That totally could have been my dream, just based on what I did last night instead of chemistry homework. Anyway, my dream last night. I was at a feminist rally. There were a lot of people there. And then... I was really excited when I bumped into a friend of mine who I haven't seen in years because she moved to Alabama when I was like in seventh grade. And then I bumped into these girls and they looked like this. I judged them immediately and I thought that they were manipulative and vain and snooty and judgmental. I even told them that they looked like the cast of Gossip Girl, so they must behave like the cast of Gossip Girl. And I think this has a lot of parallels with hypocrisy in the feminist movement. Let's talk about the zero is not a size. That makes it seem as though women who, who are size zero aren't real women. Or, or even that like real women have curves. The intentions of those are good. Especially because we have, you know, like eating disorders and depression and low self-esteem and all of that's on, on the rise. And so the intention of those things to say, you look this way because you're a woman and that's fine and that's not bad, you know, that's a good intention. But the, the reverse effect, the saying that this is what real women look like and these, like, these women aren't real, you know, that's not good. Because women come in, you know, all sizes and they look like, all sorts of people. And another part of like feminism that's an issue is the idea that liking something or fitting a stereotype in in some way is bad. It's not good to say that women who get plastic surgery or diet or like pink or wear skirts or want to stay home and have children are any less of feminists or any less of women or are hindering the feminist movement in some way. You need to be wary when you're fighting for the rights of a group that you're not hindering the rights of other people in that group. The point of all of this is we need to live in a world where a woman could be a police officer if she wants, but that we don't judge women who choose to stay home. Okay, now just a couple of final unrelated notes. Summer's almost coming and I'm excited, so I've started to move back home already. Sunday is Mother's Day. Don't forget to tell your mother you appreciate her. And if you don't have a mother who you appreciate, then you could tell your grandmother or your aunt or your sister or, you know, or your father. Also, lately I've been listening to a lot of Hello Safe Ride, and if you haven't heard any Hello Safe Ride, I'm going to connect a link to a video of one of my favorite songs by her, and it's down under, so check that out. Finally, this Saturday, if you're in the Kansas City metro area, there will be an open mic night from 6 to 8 at Dunn Brothers, and you should come. It'll be a fun time. All right, I'll see ya.